it felt quite important to root it in reality and to be like, you know, this is like a, a thing that happens. Mm. Um, and it can kind of happen to anyone. And it also like, looks quite normal at first. Jonathan Bloomberg writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Hey man, hey. how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great, especially now when I get to speak with the two of you, of course. Oh, that was sweet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I've uh, I've seen uh, the, the entire season, so so you don't have to be afraid of spoiling me of the events of, of the f uh, finale, and I'll hold the answers back until that has aired. So so you're free to you uh, you can speak freely. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Cool. Um, I hate Josh. If I'm speaking freely, yeah. I should just. Don't yeah. Have... Well, <laughs> you you had to put it out there. I I, I understand. Right. <laughs> uh, Speaking of hate, uh, I, I, I kind of feel like uh, it's your character that most uh, people hate watching uh, this show, you know, Barney. Uh, and I, I was wondering how it's to how it is to play a character like that, knowing that that's how the viewers will go. Uh, I know back in the days uh, on Game of Thrones, uh, the, the actor who played Joffrey, you know, uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, Shouted things at him on the streets. How is it to actually portray a character? Well, that, that I haven't had character? that yet. It's, it's been it's been kind of all right so far. Um, yeah, yeah. People people have been fairly nice. It was good. To, I mean, it was uh, it was good to do. You know, and I think it's like it's nice to um, as a, it's like a challenge as an actor to have a part that is that does very very bad things, but to try and find like the humanity in them or find the motivations that are un I don't know, maybe not understandable but like that are real you know because it's sort of like these these types of relationships these like coercive relationships they do exist they're not sort of like 2d caricature villainies they're kind of like quite real things so it felt quite important to root it in reality and to be like you know this is like a, a thing that happens mm. um and it can kind of happen to anyone. And it also like, looks quite normal at first. You know, you often don't notice yeah. these things developing. And it's, it's often like only when you're within the relationship, which is the nice thing about doing it on film is the camera can take you into the intimacy of it, that you actually see like quite how unpleasant it can become. Yeah, for sure. And, and Josh, uh, you kind of get to portray married life with a with a young kid and how, how that was during this era uh, and also with, with a, a wife that doesn't live like uh, she, society of that time uh, the what was deemed uh, appropriate uh, so so how, how was it to be dropped down in in that environment with, with your character yeah i i it was it was really it was really fun to explore with with Alicia, who is just amazing. She's such a wonderful yeah. actress, and I loved working with her. And I think, like you said, like ma marriage, and uh, I imagine having a, a a young child is is challenging at, in it, at any time, you know, um, and changes a person's identity. And so, in in the show, we're watching two people who have just had such a carefree. You know, before the show starts, they've had this whirlwind romance in America where they were just completely head over heels in love with each other and living life to the to the full and just kind of going crazy. And then suddenly their identity changes individually, but also collectively in the UK. And um, that must have been really tough. And then at that time, which in the 1870s, where there's so particularly for a man like uh, like Richard, where there's so many constraints and expect there's so the expectations are so high, uh, that would have been really difficult. Mm. Um, I don't know. It was really interesting to think about being a dad in that time. I think um, I don't obviously I didn't live then, so I don't know. But fatherhood, <laughs> do you not? Know? I mean, oh, I wow. might have. That's really. I have to check. I thought you were But like, um, fatherhood, there's this perception that your men were very detached from that. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, I liked exploring how. I mean, Richard, I think, absolutely loved Minnie, his little girl. Mm -hmm. And that was, I loved the scenes where we got to play with play with her. That was so nice. Yeah, and we also got to see how his mother 
didn't kind of understand how he actually could feel something like that for for his own child giving us the impression that she barely feels anything for him uh, at all mm, yeah exactly yeah so, exactly. Uh, yeah, so, so thanks a lot for uh, both of your thoughtful and answers and for speaking with me and best of luck with the finale now thanks thanks, thanks, so much. thanks, thanks for much. this thank you